discuss an important topic that is Azure CI/CD pipelines for Power Platform solution deployment. So as you all are aware, there are many other deployment techniques out there available for different different tools and with which people are automating instead of doing a manual deployment process, they are automating with the help of Azure DevOps, right? So with respect to our specific Power Platform deployments, we do have our several uh, set of pipelines configured in Power Platform. Power Platform Studio, as well as we can do a manual uh, efforts, like we can export the solution and then we can move into different environment, right? Like importing the entire solution to different environment. So with the help of this, as we as we have already seen in our in our previous videos that you know how we can move the solution from one environment to another environment, right? That is uh, all with the help of manual intervention. Like we have to export the solution and then we have to navigate to the uh, new environment, and there we are importing us uh, entire solution and you know bring in the bring up our applications and power automate flows for the business users to use for right so today instead of uh, doing all this manual efforts we can directly go ahead in the azure devops and just we just have to click on a button so with the help of our configuration the entire solution will migrate from one environment to the destination environment automatically so today let's see what are all those configurations we can do to automate this entire process and save our own time right so as you can see i am currently in the azure devops portal okay so we can go to dev.azure.com here we can create a new project so as you can see currently i have created a wizard power apps so you can also go ahead and create a new project for yourself okay and as soon as you go inside this project, you will be able to see multiple options. There is something called repository, Azure repository. And here we can see the pipelines, right? So before <clears throat> moving ahead to the pipelines, there is something called service connections, which you need to configure, okay? Which you can uh, see when we are adding our tasks further, okay? So our first thing will be opening the Azure repository because Azure repository will be the place where we are exporting our solution and automatically it will pick the solution from the same uh, location and it will uh, import into the new environment. Okay. So our first step will be creating a folder inside Azure repository and you can give any name for this. Currently I have given it as Azure CI CD pipeline. Okay. Just create a new folder over here and keep it as it is. Okay. And now let's go to the pipelines. Okay. So I'm going to the pipelines now. So here you can go ahead and create a new pipeline. So there will be several set of options available for you for creating a new pipeline, right? We can come here. Firstly, our first step should be clicking on other Git. And then we can go to the Azure repos Git. So if, uh, so if you can, you can ask me a question that why we can't directly go to the Azure repos Git uh, when it was available in the, of a backside or back option right so the reason behind it is it will not show me the empty job actions so for example if i'm going to the pipelines again and i'm going on new pipeline azure git is already available azure repository is already available on the top right but it is yaml if i click on this it will not give me to create uh, uh, give me an option to create an empty job over here okay due to that we have to directly go to the click on the pipelines create a new pipeline and click on other git available option here okay and with this from here you can shift to azure repos git and here you can just click on continue here there will be a branch for you available so you can create your own branches actually so wherever you want to keep your folders right you can create your own branches here and you can uh, get for example this is that main branch and if i click on this new drop down Right, there's something called new branch. So you can create a Power Apps branch for yourself, and here you can select that branch, right? For configuration. So I'm selecting the main itself and I'm saying continue. Okay. Now, if you see, there are many other options available out here, like YAML, dot and desktop, many other things. But what we need is empty job. So you can select an empty job here. So whenever you select an empty job, it will show you this kind of configuration. Okay. But before proceeding further, we have to do few changes in this default configurations. Okay. First thing will be you have to click on this group get resources, scroll bottom, and there's something called shallow fetch checkbox here. This is very important for us to uncheck because 
it will give us issues when we are uh, deploying okay uncheck the checkbox and come next thing will be come to the agent job one and here you check this checkbox of allow scripts to access the auth token okay this is because we are as i mentioned we have to set up a service connection right that service connection basically <coughs> needs auth token that is client ID client secret from the azure okay so now i have set up this and now what i'm going to do i'm going to add our new task so you can click on this add icon here okay here you can search for our platform tool installer so our first thing will be first task will be power platform tool installer okay then comes our next task that i'm clicking on new task again and here i'm gonna say power platform export solution okay so this will connect to my solution environment and this export will export it from that specific environment that is source environment right so again i'm adding a new task and i'm going to say pack my solution that means it will zip my entire solution into one okay so here it is connecting to my uh, new environment it is source environment then it is exporting and then it is packaging into a zip file and now i'm going to add a new task that is say oh sorry i need to delete this Let's add a new task and uh, say command command line script okay this command line script is necessary for us to commit our changes okay this is something command line script okay for committing our all our changes so this is for ci that is continuous integration process right i have added all this tasks okay so i'm going to ask few add few more tasks to the same pipeline okay for creating a end to end solution like you have we can directly export it and directly import it also into the different environment so i'm going to add a new task and i'm going to say power platform unpack solution that means it will unzip that specific solution okay and my last task will be power platform import importing the solution right so after adding all these actions right all these actions as i mentioned we have to do some configurations right so let's see what are those configurations so as we i have already so, so shown you in get resources we have to uncheck that shallow fetch which is available out there and you have to allow scripts to access all token and you can just keep this tool installer as it is it's just for uh, installing all the references files for us next coming to the power platform export solution here right you can give any name to this okay then after this you have to click on this server service principle right this client secrets so here you have to configure your service connections so if you see in the drop down i have already created two service connections okay so let's see how we can configure the solution one of the solution okay i mean a service connection so that we can uh, configure this specific thing i am going to click on this manage okay so whenever you click on manage it will navigate you to the service connections available for your uh, entire azure devops okay here you have to just directly go ahead and click on new service connection okay here you search for power platform okay say next so what it will ask you it will ask you server url okay and tenant id application id client secret right all this will be uh, coming from uh, as we all are aware that is azure active directory right so what we have to do we have to go to the portal.azure.com okay and here you can search for app registration right so you have to register our application for your uh, CICD pipeline configuration okay as you can see i have many uh, things uh, available out here so i have already set up one of the uh, register one of the application if you have to do new registration you can click on this new registration and you can give, give a give a name for yourself and uh, one registration app registration will be done for your uh, application okay if i say for example say testing one two three okay and i'm going to i need it for only my single tenant i'm going to select first option and uh, power platform will be web for me 
okay and i'm gonna say register so if you see it's created one for me okay and you can see here uh, client id is created for me client uh, tenant id is also created and you can generate our uh, uh, what you call secrets over here if you see there is something called uh, certificates and secrets you can come click on this and here you can uh, generate your new client secret by clicking on this new icon okay describe any description for yourself and when you click ok it will be created for you so i'm going to one of mine okay there is this one and here you can see application id tenant id and if you go to the client secret i have a client secret also available so all these val uh, values i'll fetch it from this portal.azure.com and i'm going to add my tenant id application id and client secret right now coming to the server url server url will be our source session url for example source as in so as we all are migrating the solution from source environment to destination environment right so that server url will be i'll show you from where to get that server url so this is my source environment right you have to navigate to that specific environment and uh, let it load okay so we'll have this gear icon here right click on this gear icon and here if you see there's something called session details click on the session details and this instance url will be our server url over there this will be your source solution instance url you have to copy this and you have to provide it in, into your server url okay and then you can name your connection name and uh, you can you know this is optional for you and you can grant permissions for all the pipelines if you want okay and same thing you can you can do for destination service connection as well i'll show you one of the configuration which i have done i'll edit my one of the connection if you see this is my server url there is instance url which i have just shown you in the session details tenant id application id client secret and this is my service connection name okay and i have checked this checkbox for to grant the access to all pipelines okay with this my service connection will be created one for the source and one for the destination okay and now i am coming back to our uh, configuration i'll select my service connection out here okay let me open one of the recent uh, pipeline which i have created so that you know it will be very easier for you guys to go through okay so if you see here in export here is my source service connection okay in environment url you have to uh, uh, add this specific formula this formula is added here because this we have to mention same formula why because this will pick the solution from the folder which you have created for yourself that is azure cicd pipelines right in the azure of this one cicd pipeline right it will pick only from that and it will uh, package it and then it will export from the same uh, like unpack and export from import from the same location okay so we have to keep all this noted so if you want this specific formulas i'll uh, provide this specific formulas in my description which you guys can use it for configuring all this uh, tasks okay so output file you have to provide this specific uh, 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 formula and uh, that's it and next you have to configure unpack solution and solution input file will be same as your uh, output file here solution output file in the unpack right and folder you have to specify your folder name here specifically what you have created here right in azure repository same folder name you have to mention here and here if you see there's a option to set like you know type of solution manage or unmanage that if you are moving it to the prod then we we'll set as managed right so something like that you can select over here and next some there is something important called command line script right as i mentioned this script will help us to commit all our changes into the uh, repository right so you have to mention all this uh, and uh, all this uh, commands but uh, instead of user email you can mention your own email id and your own uh, name display name okay and after that and i'm configuring power platform pack solution so in the pack solution it will ask for the source folder again i'm going to put the same folder because i'm zipping all my uh, solution uh, packages into this folder and from the same folder i'll mention here so that i'm 
packing again so that you know i'm gonna import it to my destination right so output file will be same as unpacking thing input file right and it's unmanaged and uh, next uh, configuring the import solution task right in this i'm choosing my service connection as destination service connection environment url will be the same destination session id as i opened here right and this will be a formula for the input right so now all our things are configured now only thing what we need to do is you can go back to our pipelines right click on this pipelines okay and you can directly you know click on this uh, pipeline like this and you can say run pipeline as soon as you click on this run pipeline your entire solution from this specific uh, source environment that is for example dataverse deployment is one of my solution it will get migrated to your destination environment okay so well guys i'll uh, post all this uh, formulas into my description so that you can better utilize those formulas and configure your own uh, pipelines okay and uh, i hope this video finds you well and if you have any doubts you can just uh, give me a text and i'll re reply you as soon as possible and uh, i'll resolve all your queries okay well thank you so much for watching guys hope you liked it